Another application of um, this, or I guess a, a further application, is to do things like approximate various functions. So we can approximate, say, um, the square root of 150. Okay. We could approximate the square root of 150. The way we would do this is we would find a linearization about a point close to 150 that we know the square root of. So we could find the linearization of the square root of x about, say, the square root of 144, which is when x is 12. So this is a spot that we can, we can approximate the square root function and come up with a value. So our linearization of a function is the derivative of the function at our, our point we're taking the linearization about times x minus a plus the function value at that, at that point. So we're going to plug in x equals 144 here and what we're interested in doing is is finding the, finding the value of the square root of 150. So let's go ahead and start by finding the derivative of our function. Our function here is simply the square root of x. So we end up with 1 over 2 square root of x. That is our derivative. And if we plug in 144 here, the derivative at 144 is going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of 144 which is just 12, so this would be 1 over 24. So the linearization of the square root function, the approximation to the square root function about this point, is simply 1 over 24 x minus 144 plus 12. And go back and look at the original linearization formula. You should have that in your notes now. And verify that we plugged everything in um, correctly. So here we have f prime of a, here we have a, and here we have f of a. So we've plugged in all of the values that we had from before. Now we can use this to come up with the linearization or the approximation of the square root of 150. So we could say the square root of 150 is approximately equal to 1 over 24 times 150 minus 144 plus 12. Okay, the 150 there is the is the value we're going to evaluate it at, and we're going to see how close these two these two values are. Um, to do that, we're going to figure out what this expression looks like. We have 1 over 24. 150 minus 144 is 6 plus 12. 6 over 24 is 1 fourth, so this is approximately 1 fourth plus 12, which is equal to 12. 0.25. So the, the linearization of, of this gives us an approximate value for the square root of 12.25. Of and this is a very powerful tool if you don't have a calculator. And of course I'm going to go to my calculator now and give you the exact value or the uh, decimal approximation that my calculator gives. My calculator says that the square root of 150 is 12.2474. So you can see that those two values are actually very close together. We're off by one hundredth, okay, roughly, even less than that. And that's a very good approximation there. So linearization is a very useful tool for um, modeling functions in small intervals and for approximating values, using it to calculate things. In the next part of this discussion, we will use linearization um, to help us find the roots of, of polynomials, but it's a very different idea. So I'm going to stop now and let you think about these ideas for a while. When you're ready, go ahead and please take a look at the next section.